This girl tells a story about her friend one day. Okay, so one day this uh, friend, this girl gets a phone call from a friend of hers. And her friend is, uh, she's crying on the phone, right? And uh, she has a wedding coming up in three months. So she's a little shocked and she's a little like, you know, um, surprised, you know, why are you crying? What's, what's, you know, what's the matter? How, what's, what happened? She's like, are you crying because your wedding's in three days and in three months and you're nervous? And she's like, no, I have to talk to you. She's like, well, well what, what's wrong? Talk to me. What's up? Right? So she's like, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. What? Wait, hold on. Wait, what? I'm pregnant. Wow. You're pregnant. Your, your, your wedding's in three months. And um, yeah, she's like, well, who you know, whose baby is it? Is it you know, hopefully you know, is it your 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 fiance's, your husband's, you know? And she's like, no. What? Who is it? It's her friend, one of her friends. So she's pregnant. One of her friends got her pregnant. So I highly doubt that one of her friends got her pregnant. Friends don't get friends pregnant, buddy. Okay. Why don't you be honest? Sounds like the one that she really loved got her pregnant. Let's continue. She's crying on the phone and she's asking for help and she doesn't know what to do. SubhanAllah. Um, so she's crying, right? And this lady's really depressed now. She's, I mean, look at SubhanAllah, even though she's getting married in three months, it's still her shahwa, her sin that, that has got, she's still attached to her sin. She's, she hasn't cut that bad habit yet. Even though she's getting married in three months, she's finally, finally getting married, right? But it's her shahwa, it's her sins that have not left her. She had... What do you mean her sins? Were you in her bedroom? Did she sin more than one time with this guy? How do you know? How do you know? You're pretty arrogant to be, you know, presumptuous here on YouTube, speaking about someone else's life, unless you were actually in the bedroom with her. Let's see what else is troubling you. She didn't leave her since, subhanAllah. So, uh, she's crying on the phone right now, right? And they're crying now, right? And then her friend knows, and she's the only one that actually knows in the family. And obviously she's not going to, I mean, is she going to tell her husband, her future husband, and then what's that going to do? Or is she going to go to her parents, and what, what are they going to think of her? And she has no idea what to do, right? One day, one day, she gets, um, a, or the friend gets a phone call from the lady. You know, first of all, buddy, from everything you said here, it's pretty clear that this is a an, an Islamic arranged marriage. You know, if the girl's going to get married in three months and she phones up her other buddy, her other girlfriend, and says, oh, you know, and cries because she's pregnant by another man, it's probably obviously clear to everyone that she didn't want to marry the guy that she's supposed to marry in three months. Right? You know, if a girl's going to get married to a guy in three months, she's usually very, very happy. You know, she's going to marry the love of her life and she's so excited, you know, she can't wait to start a life with, you know, her soulmate. <laughs> right? So, something's fishy here. This is clearly an Islamic marriage arranged by her parents and it's clear that she got pregnant by the one she really loves. So what happens now? His mother, the girl who's gonna get married, right? She calls up her friend. So she says, you know what, um, have you heard, have you, do you know what happened to, what's your name this morning? And she goes, no. What, what's wrong, what happened? And she's like, I don't know. We came up to her this morning, to her room. We opened up the door. She had pills in her hands. And she was on the floor. She killed herself. She uh -huh. killed herself taking pills. Oh, Committed yeah. Suicide. Uh -huh. Why? It was her sins that drove her to depression. It was no, it wasn't her sins that drove her to depression. No way. It was the fact that she was so sad to know what was going to happen next because she was in a corner and the corner that Islamic girls get into when there's no out is either suicide or wait until their daddy and brother come in and hack their heads off 
those were her choices. That's how Islamic girls suffer in this world when they make a mistake. Sure, she shouldn't have sinned, but where's the forgiveness? Let's see other girls who have suffered the same way that, you know, your friend's friend has suffered. Shall we? Look at this. She fell in love with the wrong man. An honor killing by her father. Her own father killed his daughter. This beautiful girl. Life cut short. Oh, another one. She denies an arranged marriage. And so her family killed her. Look at this beautiful girl. Her daddy kills her. Look, this girl fell in love with the wrong man. And her dad and her uncle killed her. They murdered her. Where is the love and forgiveness in Islam? What's wrong with people? Her father hacks her to death? Hacks her to death? She wanted a divorce. Maybe she didn't like being wife number three or number four. Women don't like to share their husbands, you know. How do you know? This one. This one died because she loved the wrong man. The wrong man! Not suitable to her parents. And so they killed her. Look at this one. She just wanted to live in the culture that she lived in, in the West. Looks like a pretty nice girl. And she's dead. Dating the wrong man. My brother and cousin. Look at this girl. Her brother kills her. What's wrong with these sick people? Where is the forgiveness in Islam? Honor killing, killing, refusing to wear the hijab, 16 years old, this beautiful girl, beautiful girl, she's dead. Can't you shed a tear? Can't you? Mr. Lucky? More honor killings in Islam. You know, Mr. Lucky, sins, you know, are awful and we should repent for them. We should have true remorse within ourselves and we should work to correct ourselves so that we don't do it again and never make those same mistakes. We're all a work in progress. But where is the forgiveness in Islam? 
You won't find it. Instead, you find Muslims killing each other for honor killings. You know, there's a story in the Bible where Jesus came across a woman who was about to be stoned for adultery. She was circled by a bunch of Jewish men who all held stones and they were going to stone her to death. And Jesus stepped forward and he said, He who is without sin cast the first stone. And all those Jews, all those men, they threw down their stones and they walked away. And then he helped the girl up. Jesus helped the girl up and he said, Go and sin no more. He gave her forgiveness. But you won't find that in Islam. You'll find honor killings instead. So, Mr. Lucky, why don't you reevaluate your faith values? Okay? God bless you all. Jesus is Lord and Islam is false.